Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. It is the fifth day of January 2022, and it's my first video to visit with you guys this year. We've got a lot to talk about. I have had some very interesting conversations with some of my viewers lately, and uh, one in particular and I wanted to talk to you about not only some stuff that has come in the mail, but about some things that are going on in my life and in your life and that kind of thing. So first of all, I want to let you guys know I had previously had plans to go to Las Vegas and be there at So Yeah Quilting on the 17th of January. And uh, we have canceled that trip. I'm sorry, I was really looking forward to meeting a lot of you. And it was kind of difficult because we were going that particular week because a friend of ours uh, is retiring from the Air Force Civil Service and her husband was in a bowling tournament that day or that week or whatever. So we were gonna go and, and enjoy the time with them there. And I was gonna turn it into a business trip and go hang out with the, with the guys at So Yeah Quilting. This whole COVID thing, it just has, you know, I, I we're, we're vaccinated and we're healthy, but uh, a friend of mine was getting ready to go on a trip with her husband up to Colorado last week. Yeah, uh, they were going to go on a ski trip. Well, she got tested at the airport. I don't know what airline. And um, she came up positive. So she couldn't go on their trip. And her husband and the boys, they went. They have older children. So she ended up, you know, and I thought, well, oh my word. And they come to find out she tested the next day and she tested negative. I don't know. That's neither here nor there. But I do not want uh, to be stuck in Vegas <laughs> trying to get home and have a problem because we were going to fly. We weren't going to drive. But anyway, so... You know, until something settles down and somebody gets an idea of how to handle all of this, uh, I think we're just going to not fly anytime soon. And Keith was not up for a drive to Vegas. So also an announcement, tomorrow on Thursday, the 6th at 3.30 Central, I will be doing an All Brands Live with Barbara from All Brands. And we're going to be talking about this... Um, this is the table topper. It's Kimberbell Cuties Table Toppers. And I'm doing a sew along all year long with you guys. And I've talked about this before in some of my videos at the end of last year. And tomorrow I will have the top put together already because we're going to talk about using uh, the, the clear blue tiles to quilt it before we do the embroidery and then we're going to cut out the shapes for February it's X's and O's and we're going to cut those shapes out on the scan and cut and then I'm going to show you how to use simply applique in order to create the embroidery file for that and then we're going to embroider them on so it's going to be a lot of fun again it's tomorrow January 6th at 3:30 central and uh, set your set a timer, you know, and it'll be on YouTube live. I will put the link to that below this video in the description box. So if you do not have Simply Applique, there is also a CD that you can get, a companion CD, and it has the embroidery files in it. And you can follow along with that and the SVG cut files are in this as well. But I'll also show how to use the, uh, from the pattern book, I will show, let me pull up that page for January so you guys can see the X's and O's. Here they are right here. It's on the same page that we had for the snowman. So many of you are looking for this book and I gotta tell you what happened. So I got a call yesterday morning from Christina at uh, Your Best Friend's Quilt Shop in Grangeville, Idaho, and I had linked to her shop in order to get the books and the CDs and whatnot. Well, she ran out. So she called Kimberbell and she said, hey, I need more. And they said, oh no, we're not printing that anymore. And she was like, what? 
we're having a year long sew along, you need to print them. And then yesterday I was on the phone with Barbara from All Brands and I told Barbara about that. She's like, oh no, we can't have that. So she called Kimber Bell and Kimber Bell has agreed to reprint the book. So there will be more books available at All Brands and also at Your Best Friends Quilt Shop and any other shop that wants to order these in order to have you guys participate in the year-long sew-along, embroider-along that we're going to do with this. This is a great project because it has simple quilting techniques in it for my viewers that are embroiderers but not quilters. But you kind of want to branch into that in order to be able to make these adorable toppers, these table toppers. These things all measure out at 22 by 22. So it's a small uh, project that we can finish together and it's just going to make adorable stuff that you'll be able to do and practice those skills all year long. And then for my quilters that are kind of iffy on the scan and cut and their embroidery machines, you guys are going to be able to follow along with all that too. So this kind of is a great project for all of my viewers to be able to uh, keep up with. So, hey, are you guys enjoying? Today's the last day of the 12 Days of Christmas giveaways that I did on my channel. We had a phenomenal uh, response to that, and I just want to thank you all so much for participating and thanking my sponsors. We had, we had, fabulous sponsors and it was just so great to see everybody's comments and everything and and uh, you guys are just awesome maybe we can do it again next year huh speaking of which i did get an email from carol she's a longtime viewer so i kind of glossed over today being the 12th day of christmas and i talked about what epiphany was i put a little um Put a little uh, thing, a splash up there on the screen of what Epiphany was. And Epiphany is tomorrow. Okay, so today is the 12th day of Christmas, the 5th of January. And she said, Epiphany, also known as Three Kings Day. It's a Christian festival which starts on January 6th. It's a special date in the Christmas story as it's when people celebrate how a star led the Magi, also known as the three kings or the three wise men, to visit the, va the baby Jesus after he was born. So anyway, she says, also January 6th is the start of the Mardi Gras season. I did not know that. I'm originally from New Orleans and that's when the parties and parades begin. Well, we cannot ever start a party too soon, can we? <laughs> okay, so we've talked about all of this. I also need to let you know, I had given a deadline of January 5th for this individual, not, not yeah, today, to contact me. I have not heard from one of my winners, and she goes by the, the handle, if you will, from the old CB days, of Scram B35, S-K-R-A-M-B-35. I've not heard from her. I replied to your comment on the video, and I replied to another comment that you had made on another video. Hey, you need to contact me. So PowerToolsWithThreadAtOutlook.com, uh, you need to email me and give me your contact information because you won a $75 gift certificate from Sweet Pea Embroidery Designs, and uh, I need to get that to you, and today is your uh, cutoff. So please uh, contact me today. I, I'll, I'll give you another day till tomorrow. I, I really want to give everybody an opportunity to, to, uh, to win these, these gifts from my sponsors. I've told you guys in the past that I'm a bit of a nerd. Well, I'm a lot of a nerd, really. Not a bit of a nerd. I'm a lot of a nerd. And this is the interesting thing that I was talking about with one of my viewers on the email over the last day or so. Her name is Donna. And I want to talk to you guys about network interfacing. <laughs> this isn't about being hacked, okay? This isn't about anything. But for those of you who are my new subscribers, I'm retired Air Force and I'm a retired federal civilian for the Air Force. And for 17 years, my job 
was cybersecurity. And my job in the Air Force was to make sure that whatever we put on the network was compliant with all of the federal government requirements to make sure that we could transmit uh, sensitive and classified data securely on the, the DOD network. So, there is a thing, and it is called the Internet of Things. And you might hear it called on, you know, you might see a commercial or something, but it's called IoT. And you might think, Internet of Things, what on earth is that? I don't have any of those. Well, you kind of do. So, I'm sure all of you, I bet you all of you have something <laughs> that belongs to the Internet of Things. If you have an Alexa, if you have a Roomba vacuum cleaner, if you have a computerized sewing machine that can accept designs wirelessly, if you have a scan and cut that can transmit designs wirelessly, you might have a smartwatch. You, you know, there are a gazillion things. If you tell Alexa to turn on your music, okay, you have devices that are called IOT. I will put a little, I made little slides because I'm a government nerd and that's what we do. We have Internet of Things, all right? So I've got sewing machines, scan and cut, robot vacuums, and smart switches, all right? So... I would simplistic, y'all don't let your eyes glaze, glaze over. You need, you need to understand this because this is really important, okay? And it's not that hard. It's really not, I promise. I'm not going to go into the weeds on this with you guys, but I do want to explain something to you because a lot of you will say, I'm not a computer person. I don't understand. Y'all, this is easy. It's running a string from one spot to another. That's all it is, okay? That's networking. It either connects or it doesn't. So I know when you, or maybe your husband or your grandchild has gone to connect your new devices. Let's say you got a scan and cut and, or a Cricut, whatever, okay? Any kind of, anything that can connect wirelessly. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. I consider the internet of things to be something you cannot surf the internet on, okay? Your, your laptop, your Mac, your, uh, your computer, you know, whatever, that your tablet, your phone. You can surf the internet on those devices. Those necessarily would not be included in the internet of things, IOT devices. IOT devices usually only connect to one thing or maybe two or whatever. So like, your, your Roomba vacuum might be connected to your phone or, and if it's connected to your phone, it might be connected through Alexa or something like that, okay? Um, your ring doorbells, all of that kind of stuff that connects to the internet, but you can't really, you can't surf the web. You can't go google.com and go out and go shopping. You can't go to Fat Quarter Shop and buy a bunch of fabric on your, on your vacuum cleaner, right? <laughs> Although that would be cool. <laughs> you know, that room. Hey, brother, if you're listening, why don't you put um, a network interface card in the Luminaire and then we can just touch it, touch a button and jump out to the fat quarter shop and go get some fabric or maybe Reb's Fab Stash. <laughs> That'd be cool. Shortcut. Oh, in, anyway, I digress. When, when the internet comes into your house, it comes in, there's, there's two ways it comes in. It, it, and they're called bandwidth. And bandwidth sounds like exactly what it is. You know, like width, like a waistline. Your waistline is either real big or your waistline small. For those of you that are, are lucky enough. <laughs> so the bandwidth that most IoT devices use is called 2.4 gigahertz. And the bandwidth that your, that your TV, let me show you. But I'm getting ahead of myself. And the, the bandwidth that supports streaming, like for gaming and Netflix and all of that, if you're watching TV over an internet connection, then, you know, Hulu or a Fire Stick or something like that, 
that uses five gigahertz, all right? So I wanna show you, I, I hope this is not confusing you guys, but I'm, I got another picture, okay? So you've got, there's your house in the middle, you see that? And you've got a router. You, you've got something in your house that's bringing in the internet connection. And that is usually called a modem. And then the modem goes to a router. I'll get to that in a minute. Real simple. Don't, again, don't let your eyes glaze over, okay? I want to show you 2.4 gigahertz. See how I've got two radio waves right here? That's a real wide reaching bandwidth. But it, and that's for your Wi-Fi devices that are IoT, Internet of Things, your, the things you cannot surf the Internet on, all right? The, this is very wide, but it's slow. So when people started watching TV and gaming and all that over the Internet, they had to come up with another one, and that's the 5 gigahertz. And see how there's only one? It's more condensed. It's a smaller bandwidth, but it's faster. So that's what your computers and maybe Netflix, you're streaming on this, okay? Most, most of our, the ones we use, you and me, the, the most of the Internet of Things devices that you and I use, use 2.4, all right? So that's, and you know when you go to, I, I, I meant I started this and didn't finish it. When you go to start, oh, I got my new scan and cut and I need to connect it and it sees five. It might see five, all right? And it might see the same network and it'll say 2.4. Well, you need to choose, usually, you need to choose 2.4. They, they, they'll see it, but they don't function well on that, okay? Your sewing machines, my Spanky, my Brother 10 Needle, and my Luminaire. They see the 5.0. It might come up with some options to choose, and you can scroll and pick the network that you want to connect to. Your Internet of Things devices that you and I use uh, generally will use the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth. All right? Okay. Here's what's going on and why this viewer Donna contacted me yesterday. She just got a new Spectrum router. They just got Spectrum, AT&T Spectrum Internet in their house. She can't connect her devices. And she reached out to me and she said, it's frustrating, I don't even see the 2.4 anymore. And I can't connect my scan and cut. And I can't connect this. And I can't connect that. And they've taken away my choice. And she has spent hours on the phone with Spectrum to try to figure it out. So then she reached out to me. And I reached out to a buddy of mine uh, from my old Air Force days who's still working in the Air Force. And he's a, a network engineer. And I said, hey, I need some help. What, what is this and what's the solution? So if you get Spectrum Internet and Spectrum Internet has gives you two pieces of equipment when you get their internet service. They'll give you what's called a modem and Spectrum Internet signal goes into the modem. They might call it a radio. So you get a modem, all right? That's the input from Spectrum Internet into your house. Then the modem talks to what's called a router. And the router, just like these arrows down here in that little circle, so I'm gonna get it real close so you can see. The router routes all of that traffic, internet traffic, to the devices in your home, okay? It will route five, it'll, it will route to your TV over the five gigahertz bandwidth, and it will route to the sewing machines and your scan and cuts and your smart switches and all of that over the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth, okay? The problem is that you can't see the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth when you go to select it 
to connect your device to their router. They have hidden that from you. And he knows this, my buddy knows this because he has Spectrum. And so he had the same problem, but he's, an inter he's a network guy, so he knew how to fix it right off the bat. He just went and bought himself a new router. So you can call Spectrum and say, hey, I need you to turn off the five gigahertz for a day. Of course, then you can't stream TV or anything and they don't wanna do that. I need you to turn it off and then you can connect all of your 2.4 gigahertz internet of things, your scan and cut and your sewing machines to the router and then have them turn it back on or maybe have them turn it off for two hours or something. But they will not do that. Spectrum will not do that. If you're a nerd, you can dig into the tech blogs and forums on the internet, on your computer, and dig around to see if you can find the password for the Spectrum router, and then log into that router yourself and turn off 5G till you get all your 2.4 stuff turned on, and then turn it back on so you can stream. Turn, back the, turn the 5G back on so you can stream. So you can watch Netflix. The problem with that solution is if you lose power, you're going to have to do it all over again. Probably. So a lot of this is based on your configuration that you have in your home. What my buddy did is he just went and bought himself his own router. Spectrum wants you to use their equipment and they will not give you a discount if you do not use their router. You have to use, you have to use their modem. You don't, you don't, if you're a Spectrum customer, you have to use Spectrum's modem. Otherwise you won't get their signal, okay? But you don't have to use their router. You can unplug their router. He told me that their router is sitting right next to his, his own personal router and it's unplugged on his desk. So you can get your own router and you'll say, well, I don't know how to connect a router. That's fine. Either call Geek Squad and have them con come connect it for you or get a grandchild or somebody. They're very easy to, to set up and you might have a traveling technician um, who can come out to your house and set it up for you. But all you have to do is plug it in Plug Spectrum's plug right into your brand new router and you're up and running, okay? Your printers, all of that. That's if you find that you cannot connect your devices. You guys, this scan and cuts are expensive. You don't want to buy this thing and then have to not be able to use the wireless capabilities of it and you end up transferring devices, you know, designs back and forth on a USB stick. That kind of defeats the purpose of wireless technology. But you will have certain companies that do not want you to connect 2.4 devices to their routers. So you have to go get your own. If you can't get Spectrum to turn it off for you for a little while, that's the only company I'm aware of right now that's doing that. There might be others, I don't know. We have line of sight internet and the router that I have allows me to choose one or the other, okay? But you, in, and when you do, if you do get another router, that's the, not the radio, not the modem, we're talking about the router. That's that other piece of equipment. That's this piece here that sends all the internet signals to all of the goodies in your house, all right? Not the one that comes in from Spectrum, the one that goes to all the stuff in your house. If you get another one, and I'll link to, I'll put some in my Amazon store for tech that I like. Um, when you get one of those, you don't have to tell Spectrum you got a new router because the, the radio doesn't care. The modem does not care, okay? So you can get them at Walmart, you can get them at Costco, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them anywhere, all right? Uh, you just need to get yourself one that will work for the size of the house that you have. And they're really easy to operate, but so if you are having trouble with that, that might be your problem. 
Just saying. And you can tell if you've got that set up, if you go to look for the networks in your house and you do not see one that says 2.4. That's how you know. Okay, that's enough nerd talk. I hope that wasn't too confusing. If you have questions, leave a comment below. I'll read them all and, and check them out. Oh, for the February table topper, I have a beautiful fat quarter bundle called Homestead by April Rosenthal of Prairie Grass Patterns for Moda. And I've had this for a while and I grabbed the pinks out of there and because there, there was a, a bunch of pink fabrics or pinkish and these are the these are the fabrics that I've chosen to make all of that out of. I kind of like it. It's got a little bit of a modern feel to it and I really like this but modern yet pink rose, pink flower lovely. So this is going to be nice. I'm, I think it's going to turn out real pretty. If you are a Creative Notion subscriber, several months ago they had this beautiful line of fabric. I'm pretty sure this is from this year. And if you didn't use it yet, it would look absolutely gorgeous. It's got soft pink flowers and there's a plaid. There's some gray, a stripe. This would look beautiful in that February table topper as well. So dig around in your stash. This is the one that had like happiness and it's got some bees on some flowers. Let me see. Yeah, it has beautiful stuff on it. So, you know, don't, don't feel like you have to get hung up in cutesy little pink Valentine stuff. You can make something that's really, really pretty with some extra fabrics. I think I'm gonna put the X's and O's on this plain white that matches with that so that they stand out a little bit. I haven't decided. So this fabric right here is gonna be the X's and O's and I can either do it on this stripe or I can do them on the plain background. What do you guys think? So what do you guys think? Should I put the X's and O's on the stripe and it'll be kind of on point I think is the way I'm gonna do that I I kind of like this and then or on the white I don't know I haven't decided all right so that's the fabric that I'm using for the February topper when I get done shooting this video I'm going to uh, put it together now tomorrow I for the live with all brands I will already have the topper together but I'm going to shoot a video while I'm putting it together so you guys can see how that's done for those of you that are not quilters <sighs> so yeah quilting does a live on Tuesdays on a recent show they were doing a lot of grunge fat quarter bundles so I picked up this one and I picked up this one. Love these warm tones. Just love them. Oh, so nice. And then they had one called Salt and Pepper, and it's grays and blacks and whatnot. So, you know, grunges are great. They go with everything. So, and then I got a Jolly Bar. I think I had signed up as a reservation for this one. But it's Corey Oder's newest line called Beautiful Day. And it's just lovely. And I've got a lot of pink flower fabric coming in lately. I feel like I already am ready for spring. <laughs> it's going to be a couple months though. And this Jolly Bar comes with a pattern called Rain or Shine Quilt Pattern. And it's very pretty. I really like this and it looks pretty simple to put together. Yeah, I'll show it to you. Rain or shine quilt pattern. That comes with the Jolly Bar. That means you can put this quilt together. You need some more background fabric, but you can put this pretty quilt together with this Jolly Bar. At least the middle of it. You will need some yardage for the borders in the background. So I need to get that. And then they also had 
Uh, this is the Moda Fat Quarter Club. It, it was a love note petite. I December 2021. I'm not a member of the club, but I love this. This is. It almost looks like the same line. Let me get out. Let me get it out of the plastic so you can take a look without the glare. It looks like the same line, but it's not. This is not Coriolis. I'm not going to take it apart because if I take it apart, I'll never get it back together. And I love the way they pack these. But look at this. Isn't that pretty? That's just gorgeous. I love, love, love these colors. Oh, so pretty. I kind of thought they were the same, and I had to stare at it a minute to see that they're not. See, the flowers are different. But you got to look at it. I must be having a thing for these things lately. And then along with this Fat Quarter bundle, I got... A solid, uh, it's like a flamingo pink, and the green solid to go with it. Can you see it? Beautiful. Pretty, pretty, pretty stuff. Just love it. I don't know what, I, I think I had a Villarosa Designs quilt pattern in mind when I got that, but hey, I started Weight Watchers on the first. <laughs> Keith and I both did. Uh, they've got a new program. It just started in November, and it's called Personal Points. And I, I was in Weight Watchers years and years and years ago, mostly after I got out of the military, uh, to keep my weight down, maintain my weight, and it worked pretty well. I gotta scooch around. Hold on. COVID twenty five piled on you guys. It's something else. Ugh. So. Uh, we we both are doing it and so far so good. I love the app that it's doing Track your foods, you know um, The friend of mine that was going to Vegas and we were gonna go visit with her She's on some plan that worked really really well for her. I do not even know the name of it. She never mentions it and It's kind of a pyramid scheme You know, you got to pay 350 a month for your food when you're in your loss phase and a hundred bucks a week for the coaching and all this other stuff. And, you know, she shows tons of pictures on Facebook about how wonderful it is. And she herself has lost 50 pounds and she looks amazing. But it's very restrictive and it puts you on some kind of schedule of exactly when you have to eat. Well, that's not how I roll. So I went ahead and, I don't know, I was searching around on YouTube or something on the first. And you know, a Weight Watchers commercial popped up and I thought, you know, I really need to do something. So, so far, Keith and I are both healthy. Um, he's on the standard cholesterol, blood pressure and all that, that most everybody is, but I'm not. And um, my blood pressure has been borderline high for the last couple of times I've been to the doc, but he's been under the impression that the side effects of the medication were worse than where my blood pressure is at. I thought, well, it can't hurt. And so far, so good. The scale's moving in the right direction, and I'm pretty happy. I want to lose 25, and Keith wants to lose 40. So you guys keep me accountable, okay? But I love this personal points plan. I'm able to eat, you know, the, the, the great thing about the Weight Watchers points plan is there's nothing that's off limits. If you want a candy bar, you can have it. You just have to budget it into your, into your points. So, haven't wanted a candy bar. <laughs> but I'm doing pretty good. I'm down five pounds, which is a lot in five days, but we'll say it's water. I know it's not always going to be like that, but, you know, I've talked about weight and diet and that kind of thing off and on throughout my channel over the last two years. But, uh, so hopefully, so I'm on a six-month program. We got three months free. I think that ended on the third. And, um, yeah. So we're both doing it, and I'm real proud of him because usually he just relies on me to handle everything. But he's, he's uh, you know, now you can take the app, and it's got a barcode scanner on it. So you can scan the barcode on the food that you're going to eat, and it'll pop up right there and tell you how many points it is. And then you can either, you know, hit track, meaning you're going to eat that, or, or add to plan if you want to add to your plan and not eat it yet, or not eat it. So not, not count it at all. It was pretty cool, pretty cool. Having a good time with that. 
Okay, you guys, I've rattled on long enough. The next video you see, except the all, don't forget about the All Brands Live tomorrow at 3.30 where we will be making the February Cuties Table Topper. Just the embroidery part of it. That's all we're gonna do. And then I will also put out more videos uh, pretty soon on the, um, the making the table topper part itself. You can refer to the all brands part for doing the embroidery. And then I will do another one for the borders and finishing. I did get an email or a comment from one of you. I did not show in this one how to finish this table topper. And that's because I had to get images of it done to all brands for their media, uh, promotional media in order to advertise the event for you guys. So it does tell you in the book how to finish it. And I finished this one the same way I did the Designs by Juju Nativity Table Runner and the Fall Table Runner. It's just the back is on it and I folded up the, the edges to self bind it. So, all right, you guys, that's it. I've really enjoyed visiting with you. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you soon. Go says something. Bye.